Johan Baez only travels a couple of miles from his home in Dorchester to get here to Boston Seaport District, but it's like no place he's ever been. I opened the door and it was like I was walking into like this amazing world. If you want to exit out. It has its own language, actually a couple of them, crucial to the main activity here, writing computer code. I believe that it opens a lot of doors and a lot of money that, that there is out there to be made from coding. Baez is part of a coding boot camp. It's the brainchild of David Delmar. Let's check out and see how we do that before. He speaks softly, but make no mistake, this guy's a drill sergeant. I like to tell them that I grab them by the ankles and throw them in the deep end. That's how we operate. Uh, we, don't, we don't ease into it. They're only here for two months. Students who may have struggled in high school, brushed up against the law, but selected to be part of this program because they have something the coding world values grit. Really the most important asset to have as a person while learning to code is can you stick it out? This is not always going to be fun. Are you the type of person who can sit there and stick it out through a hairy debugging session? Delmar should know. He rose quickly in the world of high tech to become head of design for PayPal. Not bad for a kid from upstate New York who came to Boston for art school and kept hearing the same question when he graduated. Can you also code? Uh, to which I'd have to say, no, not really, not really, no, no, no. Uh, until finally I was at one interview and I said, yes. He figured it out and figures others can too. It's about providing opportunity. And that, it turns out, is Delmar's true passion. He left PayPal and founded Resilient Coders, a nonprofit designed to give young people high-tech know-how. East of Silicon Valley, uh, by venture dollars, Boston is the biggest tech, tech city in this country. Uh, but we have a serious problem with a talent pool. In other words, not enough local people have the skills the tech community needs. Not enough young people learn to code in school. There's a disconnect between what's being taught and what is, is, uh, is a skill set that people are employing. Delmar is trying to strengthen that connection by using one that already exists, the MBTA's Silver Line. It runs from neighborhoods struggling with poverty to one flush with opportunity. So we have to take the very talented young people from Roxbury, Mattapan, Dorchester, and the very talented people down here in the innovation uh, community and just make them meet. Boot camp is tough, and it's only a beginning. But it's a way to get everyone speaking the same language one that offers That's real idea, opportunity. Right? Yo, I need to learn that. That's cool. Stephanie Leiden, WGBH News.